Let's think of, let's think of a horizontal elevator. You've all, how, how many people here have taken an elevator? Ah, thank you. Right, what, how do, I mean, the elevator is the perfect analogy. What do you do? You come in a building and you go someplace to where there's an elevator bank. You do a spatial aggregation from many doors to a place where the mobility system allows you to get in. Okay, and guess what? It's automated. Whoa, you know, you actually hit a button and whew, a door might open. <laughs> Holy mackerel. And it stays open, you get in, and the first thing I do is put that close button because I, I don't want her to come in. I mean, I, I wouldn't want you. I mean, you know, but it stays open in case somebody else might come. And if they do, I say, oh, that's okay. I'll share the ride with you. All right? And I hit the button and the door closes. It takes, it actually, I mean, really, it's on. There's no driver there. Isn't it amazing? I mean, I still, and, have, I still have one back in Chicago. Oh, yeah, there might be one. And if, if, if you go to Tiffany's in New York, they still, in Tiffany's in New York, they still have a person that. <laughs> Drive. But, but in, a, in fact, if one wants to look at the chauffeured mobility, there really isn't, if you think about it, we might have a, an autonomous taxi stand uh, within a five minute walk of here or something, and we might all walk to there, and maybe through our phone, maybe hit a button, and in some sense it knows that we're coming, and, and it might open its door and say, hey, Yes, I'm taking you back to Mountain View to your hotel because I don't know where you're going. And it might actually stay open for somebody else, the shared opportunity associated with that. And it then might take me to within a five, you know, drop me off at the 18th floor. But is that where my room is? No, I have to walk from where that is to room 1807. Okay, well, horizontally, it's the same thing. And so if you put yourself in that kind of mindset in terms of that kind of chauffeured mobility. Do I? I think only the Donald owns a, 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 uh, an elevator. I, I, I don't know if anybody, uh, may, you know, uh, maybe Steve Jobs owned one or something. I, I don't know, but, you know, they are public transportation systems. They are chauffeurs. They're automated chauffeurs. They just happen to go up and down. The concept is, is why don't, don't, why don't we have a similar opportunity to do that in the horizontal space? Then we don't have to own it because we'll use it as available. We'll, we'll use it by the drink instead of by the bottle. We'll buy it by the drink instead of by the bottle. We won't have to store the bottle on a shelf in a garage or car, all right? And in fact, when we're done with it, at the 18th floor, it goes up to the 42nd floor and picks somebody up and brings them down makes use of it, all right, whatever. And if there are three people that want to come down up there and pick some other, I, I think you can get the whole concept of what this horizontal elevator chauffeured mobility might end up. And so what we need to be able to do that, which all this stuff is, if you do that, guess what? Elevators are available 24 seven. In most, I don't think they shut them down, okay? The operating cost of an elevator, does it have any labor costs associated with it? Yes. Well, maybe some maintenance. Yeah, sure. But they're, you know, uh, you know, compared to the labor cost. It's an Uber system without an Uber driver. Okay, and just think what you might be able to do with that in terms of the cost of that thing, because hopefully the Uber driver gets 75% of what the fare is. So all of a sudden, hey, and we know what the automation is. The automation is, not, is nothing but, but uh, Moore's Law stuff. And we know about Moore's Law stuff. It doubles in performance every couple of years while having in price. So we know that the, that the automated thing that runs this thing, the price of that thing is going to zero. So in fact, all of a sudden, we might be able to make this affordable to everyone. And if it's not affordable to you riding by yourself, somebody else may show up and share the ride with you so then the cost of the darn thing is chopped in half. And if now we take one vehicle instead of two, guess what happens to the energy consumption? Half. Guess what happens to the pollution? Yeah. Guess what happens to greenhouse gases? Yeah. 
There's nothing else out there that's going to talk to you about having these things. And that's where the sharing aspect of this comes from.